It's Sunday, March 17th here at the West End Gun Club. It's right at the top of the hour, 1400 hours. Decided to come out to the range because the creek is crossable, relatively speaking, for a four-wheel drive. Um, I was looking at the weather and they said the wind was going to be pretty mild in the afternoon. It's about three miles an hour or so, so it's a pretty good time to get to zeros. There's a bunch of guys in the Precision Rifle Team, um, SoCal Precision Rifle Team. They're just here um, running an informal just sort of uh, match stage of fire, so they're just practicing rimfire, which is pretty nice because like I said before, the range is quiet and so you can do like a lot of stuff you want to do here if you're going to shoot rimfire. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get a, grab one of the benches and then roll it over on this side just so I can zero in the, uh, my CZ455 that I shot uh, three or four days ago over at Lytle Creek um, when the wind was really bad. So I'd like to get at least a re-zero because I think it's shooting higher than it was before. Um, sorry, it's shooting lower than it was before in the stock, so I'm going to re-zero that and uh, probably adjust my zero stop on my scope. Anyway, let's get unloaded or get all my gear unpacked and start shooting. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try these decibels. These are these custom molded uh, earplugs that I got from SHOT Show for free. Basically, it's a home kit that you just uh, you can do at home, boil them up in water, and then you can mold them to your own ear without having to pay for somebody to do it. Um, we'll see how well they work. I like your rifle, James. Your trigger's a little bit heavier than mine, though. Really? I think so. Let me find it there. I think it's set at like 11 ounces, or? Then it should be lighter than mine. I think mine's at a pound, which is like 15 ounces, right? Isn't it still a little bit heavier than mine? Something feels different. This one feels like a pound. I'll have to put it on the gauge when we get home. if we can ever get it to actually use it. We've had this thing for a while now. We haven't been able to use it yet. Don't have the right thing Yeah, it's one piece or another or whatever. You should be able to get that bag in there. Yeah, you should sit here. Are you a C Corp? That's higher, but you didn't pull it all out, so. Who's that? What legal entity are you guys? Are you a C Corp, S Corp, LLC? S Corp. Yeah, that's it. So you'll pay taxes on your Who's that? profits. Yeah, well, I pay taxes on profit, but plus whatever we pull out of dividends. Yeah. 
Why would you pull out dividends? Well, because that's how you. So you are you you're not getting a salary or nothing? No, I get a salary too. But the salary is only forty eight grand. Forty thousand more. The folks that were here in the range um, asked me if I wanted to shoot the Sages of Fire for, it's like the NRL 22 course of fire for this month, so I went ahead and just did it. Um, ran through, I think it was just five stages. I didn't shoot too well, but at the same time, why not? I'll just try it since they're already here um, with, this, with the target set up. So um, I did that, and um, they're, all done, you know, they're all done, packed up and left, so I have the range to myself now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue testing some ammo um, and re-zeroing, um, testing zero 050. Um, it's really, really dead right now as far as wind, so it's a great time to do this testing. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to shoot some standard uh, rifle, sorry, SK rifle match. I'm almost out of standard plus. I didn't realize that. I thought I had more. I may have to order some more, so um, something I need to be keen on uh, as far as my supplies are concerned. And I don't know if anyone's been paying attention, but SK standard plus is actually kind of out of stock everywhere. Um, even Bruno's, which t who typically has um, all the SK ammo, they're out of stock. I'm waiting for um, Bruno's to also get the SK Long Range, which is the new one that they announced at SHOT Show this year. I actually have SK Biathlon Sport, which is basically the same round, but um, supposedly Long Range and SK Biathlon Sport are going to be pretty much the same round, except I, ex I expect Long Range to be more, con I guess, better lot testing. But we'll see. Wind picked up a little bit. It's um, it's actually breezy from the far side or from behind me. I do have this Kestrel, new chassis. Went a few days ago was at Lido Creek because it was just the conditions were bad. But we're in a nice environment here at the West End Gun Club. Just kind of want to show you a close up of the chassis. It's pretty much looks almost like a your standard center fire chassis, but in a form factor for a CZ 455. It's going to come around this bench here. As you can see, I put the uh, standard bag rider here. Got the enhanced vertical grip. Arca Swiss milled in. Fits the really right stuff clamp. Um, for those unfamiliar with my CC455, um, it's the Varmint Tactical 16.5 suppressor ready. I've got the Area 419 30 minute base. These are American Rifle Company uh, rings. Uh, I think they're, th I don't remember what height, 24 millimeter? I think they're on inch tall, so. In the trigger, it's just your standard factory trigger, but I have a, uh, the Yo Dave trigger kit. And then this is all topped off with the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2, 5 to 25 by 50. It's a decent scope, not bad for $1,000. And uh, the zero stops okay. I prefer the uh, the ones off the actual razors. They're better, but this is far better than the Gen ones. And I already nicked up my chassis um, today when I was using the ladder barricade during their our informal uh, NRL 22 stage of fire. I shot earlier with the guys that were here, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna beat up your chassis or your rifle, so I don't know. I kind of indented in the, uh, the finish, but whatever. Here's the ammo that I was referring to earlier, um, the stuff that I bought from Bruno Shooter Supply in Arizona. This is Lapua ammo. This is like their top three tiers for rimfire. I believe this is an order, so it goes exact at the top, minus plus, and it's NRX. Um, if I'm right, whichever one's the most expensive, exact is like, um, one of them is like twice as much as the other. And I think this was like 23 rounds a box of 50. I have to double check my prices off the top of my head. But 
Then I have the Biathlon Sport from SK and the Flat Nose Match, which is I've never tried before. Heard this is pretty good. I'm going to give that a whirl. Um, but this is the same exact spec as the SK Long Range that they're coming out with the later this year. Um, same bullet, same muzzle velocity. So I bought some of this. I might try to shoot like 20 rounds of each today. Um, I don't want to shoot through all of it, obviously, because I only have so few of this. And I don't want to keep buying more because it's so expensive. But I guess I'll just go ahead and take advantage of the time I have here at the range right now with the conditions that are pretty decent. Disappointing group on center X on that last shot, but I feel like I'm shaking a little bit um, Again, I've got a cold going on right now, and you can tell from my voice Disappointing group as well, minus plus, or it's already exact. 50 yards, I would expect to shoot better than this. Hmm. And I forgot the arm the lab radar, and I shot a great group too. Whatever. So, if I recall correctly, this is center X, center X, minus plus, minus plus, exact, exact. You would expect expensive ammo to shoot better than this at 50 yards. Again, rimfire is pretty key like that. You gotta test all rimfire in your gun. But here we have the biathlon support from SK. Bi biathlon support from SK, got some up and down stringing. I'm seeing this up and down stringing on my second group. But here's the uh, flat nose match, SK, flat nose match. The windage I'll deal with because I am shaking side to side a little bit. But I mean, there's some promise here, a promise here, but you think it'd get better. Um, it's pretty expensive ammo. Um, I'm going to stop shooting this stuff right now because I'm going to save it for another time. We'll just keep testing it over time with various conditions to see how the ammo holds up. But right now, a little disappointed. I was hoping to shoot a little bit better 50 yards with this stuff.
Um, this is my target from earlier today, 25 yards, some 50. But um, shoots okay. I mean, I, I one hold a group with standard plus, that's five shots. Um, standard plus rifle match, I think. Um, and then we stretched out to 50, shot some rifle match there, and it's, it's all right. But um, this was also 25, 50, 25. But um, the potential is still here on this gun. I'm not just, maybe it's just me not shooting well today, but I would expect more one hole groups at 25. Um, this is all close to a one hole group, but I threw that flyer. Eh, that's okay for 25. These are 50s, so I don't know. I'd like to retorque again, I guess, just to mess around with it. Unfortunately, I'm a moron and I left the extension somewhere on the floor of my garage, so I don't have the quarter inch uh, bit extension that I need for these uh, these uh, hex drivers. Uh, packed up all my gear, about to get out of here. It's 1,700 hours. It's all quiet on the rimfire range. I can hear some, I think there were actually some guys from the range crew up on the hill back there, um, probably doing a survey to figure out what they still need to complete to get the upper 200 yard, 300 yard range work uh, functional or up and running, which would be really cool. It'd be a nice place to go shooting um, on the weekdays. You can shoot a little longer range than 100 yards. So looking forward to that. Anyway, um, still feeling kind of sick right now. I uh, just, I'm like right in that, that part of the cold where you're just working through that, that horrible phlegm that you got that, that mucus buildup, working through all that. So, I mean, not really uh, appealing to, to hear about in a vlog, but that's what I'm going through right now. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, got my rimfire shooting in. Uh, didn't shoot as well as I'd hoped, but it didn't shoot bad though. I mean, it's still shooting. So, um, Next, next time I'm out, maybe I'll remember to bring my extension so I actually uh, mess around with the torque settings on the action screws. Although I don't think that's going to help much, but we'll do it anyway because you know rimfire is finicky like that. Uh, next time I'm out, if you follow my Instagram, OKFJ, you probably saw that I actually have a new Glock slide. So I got the Hollow Sun 507C. Um, would have brought that out today, but I didn't think I would, I would have that much time to shoot it today. But um, that's one of the things I will try to swipe these flies away. But um, that's one of the things that I'm going to be shooting uh, next time I'm out at the range. So definitely look forward to that. It's a Glock 19 slide with a Hollow Sun 507C. And I'll give you more background on the whole red dot thing uh, in my experience with RMRs. Anyway, that's it for today. Today is Sunday, uh, March 18th here at the West End Gun Club on the Rimfire Range. Uh, thanks for watching the vlog. I'll see you in the next one.